Walkers behind the line in three, two, one, go. The first 15 seconds, as always, are pre-programmed by our students. They're not talking to scrollers just yet. 7454 demonstrating a cube in the top of their grid. During autonomous, they get an extra point for everything done. So that was six points for an item in the top. 3940, that Cybertooth successfully balanced on their side of the switch. The Red Alliance matching them. The Technocats 45 make their way across the center of the field. They have a unique arm mechanism that allows them to grab in front of them and place in front of them. Very unique. 3621 making use of their loading station and their human players to grab a cube. They're going to quickly exhaust all the game pieces that started on the field. So making use of those loading dock and their human players is how they can get pieces onto their grid. 3940 Cyber 2 is trying to take a grid, uh, place the police in the grid on the top. Every point or every game piece that scored on the top of the grid is worth five points, and making our way down is three points for the middle and two points for the bottom. 7654, that's Huskies on Hog, demonstrating their unique drive mechanism, allowing them to swivel around in place and make heavy use of that as they cross diagonally across the field in order to score in their grid, twisting as they move to minimize their cycle time. The smaller their cycle time is, the more game pieces they can score during the match. 447, that's Team Roboto making their way over their charge station. Most teams electing now to go over rather than around to save time. They can get additional strain on the robot, though, if they go fast enough and get some air time. 7020 fixed gears making use of their loading station and their human players. They're going to grab a cone using their nice tong method. I do appreciate any robots with googly eyes, and 1720 is one of them, making their way now across the field to place in their grid. Currently, neither team has gone for that cooperation bonus, so both, links need, both teams need five links for that additional ranking point. As we enter end games, robots will make their way over through their charge stations. They can get points for just contact alone, but if it's in a level configuration, also known as engaged, they get 10 points for robot. Team 45, the Technocats, already sitting pretty on their charge station. The Red Alliance trying to match them. The score is currently 99 to 96. It'll be very tight and will be reliant on these end game results in order to change the match. The Red Lions making their way over and they're just about to make it. Both teams with two robots level on their charge station. That was the end of qualification match 52. Scores for Wall Reach and Match. It's the Blue Lions. Winning the score of 123 over the Red Alliance is 118. The Blue Lions getting four ranking points. Two of those for winning, one of them for their charge station, and another for computing things in the grid. 3940 maintaining their second rank position as we move into the next qualification match here at the Finn District Greenwood event.